the Yardage Village was born out of that love of stabilizing and cleaning up, and it has become that economic development. Yardage Village Detroit was born out of necessity. Necessity is the mother of invention. Although I always dreamed of having a place where all artists could gather, when we started this project, I was working out of a Chevy 350 conversion van. I converted, it was a conversion van, all right? It's converted into a mobile studio, art studio. I need a studio on the battlefield. And the education is the foundation here. The summer program has been going since I started. Well, Chaz, he's a, he's a good guy. He's nice. And he, he's good at art elementary school school through high school during the summer. In the morning is usually the younger kids. Well, they are, they're here all day, but in the morning I deal with the younger kids in the afternoon from one to five I have uh, high school students. It's an entrepreneurial training program that started right out of here at Brightmore, and we work with them now on Saturdays. So right now we have the young people designing the flyers and the promotional material for our dedication of the mural on Burt and Finkel, which is called Career Paths. Part of the second program, that's Detroit Neighborhood Arts Corps. And through Detroit Neighborhood Arts Corps, we basically are targeting young people that have artist, artistic talent that really have the potential to have an art career. And if we can recognize them in middle school, elementary school, and work with them all the way through till they go to college, the relationships that we build as individuals makes them stronger, makes me stronger, makes our organization stronger, and also creates a pool of artists in the city to execute the public art projects. I only teach what I know. I like to teach what I know. I'm experienced that, and as an artist, for me, it wasn't just a nine to five. It's a life. It's a lifestyle. Sometimes I play drums at Poetry Night. Sometimes I come rap at uh, Hip Hop Night. My dream community is to have a group of people who all gather up from all walks of life, who come together to create a place that they can be proud of, where they can raise their children, where their children can have pride in their community. My definition of community is individuals that come together for a common cause uh, to better the environment in order to raise children to be productive adults. Also to inspire adults to follow their artistic dreams probably that they put on the shelf. So what I decided to do was create a, <clears throat> a night called Creative Juices. Creative Juices is where you bring all of your juice creatively. The foundation is spoken word and poetry with a live band, and that's every Saturday. Welcome to the Artist Village. And you guys will, not hopefully, but you will enjoy yourself tonight. And I'm going to tell you, people of the Republic arise and take a stand. Defend the Constitution, the supreme law of the land. Preserve a great republic, get out God, give it a right and pray to God to keep the torch of freedom burning bright. Now as I awoke from this dream, from the mess from which he came, his words are true, we are not free and we have ourselves to blame. For even now as we try to each God, give it right, we only watch and tremble too afraid to stand and fight. These letters, letters, letters like people, people that get together with other letters that form gangs called words. And these words converge in my brain like herds across planes to express resolutions like Raising awareness over HIV and AIDS and SSI getting cut by the FEDs due to a struggling economy, the CIA showing less intelligence by the minute, inventing theories of WNBD being on our rap, the ACLU is MIA as the government infringes on our civil liberties, our HMOs over POS, CNN and FOX be up the F on the TV as the USA deals with ADD and sometimes it just got an LOL. This place is a zone! And it's made for me and you. Now all of other citizens, we be seeing you. The men and the men, the blacks, the whites and the blacks, they keep your ass on lockdown. Ankle chains and handcuffs. Uh, Hip Hop Night is spawned out of the need for young males, especially young African-American males to express themselves. There are many ways to express yourself in this culture, but the way the culture is set up, not a lot of them, all they know is hip hop. We need to offer them a venue to get that out, to express themselves. Um, there's a lot of pent up frustration. A lot of people don't want to deal with hip hop. They, they scared, whatever. Uh, it's part of our culture we can't ignore, and it is an artistic form. Who gonna say I called your wife on that run? Energy 
It's got to be mind, body, and spirit combination build. If art is everything, then most of our greatest inventions, all of our greatest inventions had to have drawings to go along with them. So they had to have someone with artistic talent to put the drawings down. The bottom line is that the community was to be a nurturer of the family and, and the children. And uh, if the community is dysfunctional, then you can't not be surprised that the children are dysfunctional. My ideal community is a community of sacrifice. Individuals that are really willing to sacrifice their personal issues for the betterment of the whole, ultimately understanding that that would more than likely, neither if not solve their personal issues, give them a support system to help them deal with their personal issues. Once you set out on the path of where you're going, and you have to understand the signs and symbols of things that happen along your journey. And that will tell you, oh yeah, yeah, that, that was stomping my foot. That will tell you, that's my passion coming out. That will tell you uh, that you're going in the right direction.